Hello and welcome to Ticker Tapes. Today we're taking a look at the world of high growth stocks. It's been another tough week for high growth stocks and investors. The ETF that tracks the S&P Pure Growth Index fell by 4.64%. That move took year-to-date losses in the index to 21.52. Looking inside the Nasdaq 100, which is home to many high-growth stocks, just 4.9% of constituents are trading above the 5-day moving average, and only 14.7% are above their 20-day line. That's down from a high point of 84.31% on April 22nd. Only 14 Nasdaq 100 stocks finished last week with 5-day gains of 1% or greater, and an equally small number of stocks can point to year-to-date gains that are above that 1% threshold. Among the best performers in the Nasdaq 100 over this time frame are Vertex Pharmaceutical, Kraft Heinz, Dollar Tree Inc., and American Electric Power, only one of which could be labeled high growth. The Nasdaq 100 has lost 18.16% since the start of 2022 and is now down by just under 3% over the last 52 weeks. The performance picture doesn't get any better if we look at the broader Nasdaq Composite Index, which saw 613 of its constituent stocks post new five-day lows ahead of the weekend, 381 of which printed new one-month lows as well. Just under 27% of the 996 stocks in the composite index closed above their 200-day moving average last week. Investor sentiment has been unnerved by a renewed focus on the pace of U.S. interest rate rises and continuing COVID lockdowns in China that could further hamper the supply chain and the likelihood of an extended conflict in Ukraine, which elevates geopolitical tensions around the globe. However, there are still winners to be found within the broad-based growth and technology index, for example, airlines were back in vogue last week. United were up by 14 percent and American Airlines rallied by 6.21 percent over the last five days. Even amid last Friday's tech and growth sell-off, there were some notable gainers. That included Evolo Biosciences, up 15.31% on clinical trial data, and SVB Financial, which rose by 7.53% after bullish upgrade from analysts at JP Morgan. It looks like we might soon have one less high-growth stock to worry about. Despite initial resistance, Twitter is reportedly moving closer to agreeing terms with would-be buyer Elon Musk. Discussions between the two sides took place over the weekend and dragged on into Monday morning. Mr. Musk is reported to have lined up the financing to fund his unsolicited $46.5 billion offer for the social media company, which he pitched at $54.20 per share. Talks are said to have advanced to the point of discussing fees, timescales, and penalties that would be paid if any agreed deal fell apart.